9,000 Nepalese in U.S. after 2015 earthquake facing expulsion if TPS cancelled. The Trump administration is nearing a decision on whether to order 9,000 Nepalese to leave the U.S., following similar decisions to order the expulsion of tens of thousands of legal residents from the country. The group from Nepal, who were victims of a magnitude 7.2 earthquake in 2015 that killed more than 8,000 people and left 3.5 million homeless, have been living in the U.S. under Temporary Protected Status, or TPS. The program was created by Congress in 1990 to allow people from countries who have been hit by natural disasters or armed conflicts to legally live in the U.S. while their home countries recover. TPS has allowed more than 435,000 immigrants from 10 countries to legally live and work in the U.S. for decades, but the Trump administration says the program has gone beyond its intended use and has been phasing it out. The Department of Homeland Security has already announced the end of TPS for Nicaraguans, Sudanese, Haitians and Salvadorans and could shut down the program for 57,000 Hondurans next month. The department also ended a similar program for about 745 Liberians last month. The department said its decision will be made on Nepal in the coming days. Most Nepalese TPS holders live in New York City and their supporters are shocked that the administration would force them to return as the country struggles to recover from the quake. That's the message they will deliver during a candlelight vigil in New York City on Wednesday night to call on the administration to spare their countrymen. America will not be greater or safer by forcing them to leave, tearing them out of our economy and sending them home to a still unstable country," said Stephen Choi, executive director of the New York Immigration Coalition. Trump's move is truly spiteful.